Hey everyone, this is your girl Sybil from Leave to Love Life. Um, I wanted to come to you today to um, speak to you guys about how certain people feel like it's a bad thing to tell others that they are seeking help of a psychiatrist or sitting down with a the therapist to talk to. Well, let me tell you, for me... Um, I can't always afford to go sit. Sometimes I just go to a group. But there is many different things. One thing, let me make it clear. No one can make you happy, okay? And certain battles, battles that you have going on mentally inside of you, that's something that no one can take away. You just got, got to help it yourself. At the same time, don't let someone, you know, like tear you down. If you're in a relationship, no matter what type of relationship it is, and that relationship is tearing you down, let's just say um, you're in a relationship and the person is making you feel bad. Yes, that person is a bad person, but it you do not need to stay or wait for someone to tell you to leave. You should just know better for you to leave because... If you're in a relationship, you're feeling bad about yourself because the person is making you feel bad about yourself, because the person is um, below, like making you feel very little, and telling you like because when you're with someone, as a matter of fact, that one opinion that matters the most, it's your significant other. And sadly, some people doesn't realize that the word that comes out of their mouth, how it could um, actually destroy someone else so with that being said um i was fine and all of a sudden i get i got really down i got really down because um my ex-in-laws actually um reach out to me for the for having my child being present and i thought that was great you know um because at the end of the day they are the kids family but then I was telling my friend that he's a very dear friend to me. And the first question he told me is that, hey, have you told the person you're with uh, um, now? Have you told your significant other? How does he feel about it? And then another question he said, he said, did you get invited or is it just the kids? Um, and I didn't say anything. I didn't answer. But when I kind of sat, sat down and think about it, um, it got me down. Because, first of all, I did not want to hurt that girl feeling because she's not part of the family. She's marrying to the family. Just like um, I was, I got into the family. And another another thing also, I don't want to hurt my kids' feeling. And then, I don't want to hurt their father's feeling, nor do I want to hurt the person that I'm dating now feeling. But then, I realized the only person that's getting hurt out of all that scenario was me. Because I got depressed and physically I was extremely drained. I had a terrible migraine for, for the past um, 72 hours. But last yesterday was um, very bad. So I could not afford the session that I usually go. And I was too drained and physically too... I wasn't like physically okay for me to actually like go on a group session. So I decided to pick my diary and write down my thoughts. And while I did that, it's like I was basically questioning myself in the process. And I realized something. In life, it is impossible to please everyone. It is impossible to make everyone happy. And it is not our responsibility to make others happy. It is our responsibility to guard ourselves from others and also our responsibility not to Affleck pain on others but my responsibility my responsibility is to it's towards my kids and myself and my partner so they come afterwards so I decided I was going to sit down and have a talk I haven't done that have a talk with my partner to see how we feel about it and also have a talk with my kids because at the end of the day they are not adult, especially the little one. And these two will be, you know, having the time of their life that day. So they would not be able to look after my kids. So I can't actually tell them to look after the girls 
while the girls is part of their celebration. So I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. But the one thing I actually um, can say that I realize out of all of this is that sometimes when we have um, anxiety and we have been through depression and we be having mental um, breakdowns and anxiety attacks, it is not okay to try to please everyone. We need to stay, stay uh, um, very like um, open-minded and cautious of our mental health situation because the more we actually pay attention to other people and put ourselves in the back burner, it actually took a toll on us. And sometimes that's opening a door to depression. And... In my situation, I find myself finding ways how to catch myself doing so by opening the door to, to my depression to sneak up on me. So, it helps. But in other situations, it doesn't always help. Because sometimes you may be too deep in into it that you don't realize it. And another, another thing that I realized that um, if you want something... Don't sit there and think about it, dwell on it, and hoping that the person will understand what you want or what you need. If you're in a relationship, you have to be honest with yourself and with that person. Have Don't stay too quiet. Have an open communication. And also, when you have kids and you're in a relationship, have a true policy in that relationship. When a question is asked, no matter how um, hard it could be, no matter how much you know, how much pain it could breathe that person, it's better to tell the truth because at the end of the day, it will get worse and harder and then you will also break that trust and that communication um, you were building. So do not break that foundation. No, even if you know, it's it will be painful it might take a little bit for that person to forgive you but the person will forgive you and let me tell you something i like at my age right now i'm not perfect no one is perfect if you're in a relationship at that stage right now the one thing you should always bring forth is this because the person that i was when i was in middle school and high school I know for a fact, no matter how much I love my ex, I will never be with that person. That crazy ass girl that I was, that always wanted to be, wanted the cutest, the cutest boy ever, the sexiest boy ever, the boy that had the hottest car, the boy that was this and that, that went to the hottest college and stuff like that. I'm no longer that person. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem problem with my ex, but um, the, I am not that little girl. Let's just say I'm a woman now. And the one thing me and my partner have in place, it's my partner in life. The one thing we put in place before um, we decided to take our relationship to the next next level is this. Divorce is out of the questions. So we won't be getting a divorce no matter what. We will always be, we will always tell each other the truth. Because the one thing that's most important out of everything is trust. And we don't want to break that. So we will always tell each other the truth. And no matter what we want, we will always meet each other halfway. So with that being said, if you are in a relationship and you're struggling with that person, and that's a relationship you were in when you were in middle school, there's a possibility That you have grown and that person haven't. And let me tell you something. Don't always put, you know, that long list you have. He got to be cute. He got to be this. He got to be that. The person you want, you have to make sure that you have those things in you also. Because that man you want may not want that woman you are. So make sure you are the woman that checklist 
is looking for because you guys have to be equally yoked. And if you guys aren't, guess what? You will never find that partner. You will never find that person you're looking for. It is impossible to find someone that that is as much as a mature as uh, um a mature as the person you were back in the day and that person you are now so don't change someone or don't change who you are because of someone because let me tell you something the person is not what you're looking at it's what's inside we all gonna grow some of us gonna lose our hair some of us gonna get into a car accident or we'll get sick our hair gonna fall off the, the story goes on and on. The thickness of the hair that I had back in the day, I don't have it now. And now I even see some, my hair color is changing. It's getting lighter. So, you know, things goes. Things comes and goes. And I'm not saying you guys shouldn't prepare yourself for certain things. And I'm not saying that um, things doesn't happen. The one thing that I'm that I am saying though is this. Always keep in mind life itself is a very 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 short thing. We are here today. We don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So whatever it is you got to do, do it now. Whatever checklist you got going on, make sure when you're checking that list, you going like, hey, you know what? He got this. Check mark. Make sure you got it too. Because for you to find that man that is exactly like that checklist, you got to make sure when he's checking his list, you guys are equally yoked. Because if you guys aren't, guess what? You're going to be like, hey, why is he the person that I want in? He doesn't want me. You were, your, your attention was pure, but however, you spend your whole life looking for that man, but never preparing yourself to welcome that man into your life. So take, take the blame out of, uh, out of the man, take the blame out of family. And let me tell you something. If you want your friends and your family to stay out of your business, you should not be calling them every single time there's something. And if your friends and your family doesn't approve of the person you with, that person doesn't approve of the person you are. So you shouldn't be with that person. Every one of us has done or did something at some point in our life that we aren't proud of. And some of us... were. Uh, um, aren't lucky enough that, you know, we got cut up. Some of them was probably at the wrong place at the wrong time, end up in jail for a few days, or probably was just for one night. It doesn't matter. Whatever it happened, do not look for your friend, your circle, your co-worker, your family approval. The only person approval that you need is God blessing. If you are happy in your relationship, nothing else mattered because you will be the only person leaving with that person. So stay focused in your relationship. Don't let people inside your relationship because the conversation should only be between you and that other person. Do not force nature. Being in a relationship, let me tell you something. I did it for seven years. And I'm always hoping that person going to change. If that man show you or that woman show you who they are, that's who they are. Don't try to change them or don't try to change for them. And don't stay fighting, fighting, fighting. No. Leave. Because that is a waste of time. And especially if you bring kids to the mess, that's your mess. So don't blame the world for the problem that you actually cause. Because I, let me tell you something. I'm not proud of it. But every day I said to myself, you know what? 
He told me many, many times that's who he was. But I stayed and hoped he would change. Because I felt like I've done so many in the past. I already have a child. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. It took me depression, suicidal thoughts, me getting blowing like crazy, losing my hair. So many. Thank God I I didn't do drugs. I didn't smoke or do any like alcohol abuse or hooking up with every every person that I could find just to satisfy the urge or finding myself or feeling myself or make myself feel better. But I thank God for the family member that I have that paid attention and my best friend. And I thank God for the community around me that I had those who believe in mental health, who, who was able to help me to beat this, this depression. Because guess what? I wouldn't be there. And guess what? I want to live a long, healthy life to be here for my kids. And right now, the only thing that matters to me is my health. I just want to focus on my health. My physical health and my mental health. So all I do now is focus on that. It's going to take a while for me to get my health back together. Especially by trying to lose the weight. But guess what? That's all I'm going to focus on. I'm not going to try to make no one happy. Don't try to make the world happy. It's impossible. The president himself can't make us happy. It is impossible. It's just like, okay, you in, that jo- you in a job. You get fired, the other person get hired. Guess what? That same God you prayed that gave you that job is that same God that the person prayed that gave them the job. You just wasn't doing your things right. So you lose it, and that person got, sh- got that blessing. So that's why they say everybody have their own timing. Just because you in your 30s, you doesn't have kids or you haven't been married, you you haven't have a house or whatever it is, or you in your 30s, you have two, three, four, five kids, 10 kids. Your relationship is falling apart. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. No one came out of their mama's stomach or some or your kids came out of your stomach for that matter of fact with an instruction book. So basically, we learning as we go. And it's okay to fail in life. Because the only reason why you're failing is because you're trying. So keep on trying. Live the life. It's only one life to live. We all gonna die. The beauty of life is this. We all gonna die some someday. We just don't know when. So we just gotta make the best of the, the time we got right now. And me, one thing that I know, I'm not letting nobody take my peace of mind away. And I'm not letting nobody telling me what I should or shouldn't do with my life. That's one thing. And I would not let anyone around me take my peace or my happiness away. And one thing is, the fact that life is too short, I don't hold grudges. Because guess what? Holding grudges doesn't hurt the other person. It only hurt me. And there's nothing wrong. It's a big ass world. What is so what is so wrong about it? To make space to have fun with your friends and family. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, guess what? If the problem between you and that person is alcohol, hey, you avoid alcohol with that person. If that person, you know, it's somebody who be taking people, man, don't bring your man around that person. If that person is stealing your money, don't bring that person inside your house. Go get a cocktail and make it that simple. Or, hey, a call. Hey, hi. How you doing? If that person take your piece away, hey, what's up? Keep it moving. If that person has something that have to do with money or have something with communication, hey, you see the person. Hey, hello. How are you? Bye. Life is simple. We as people make it hard on each other. We make it hard on ourselves and make it hard on others around us. So figure it out. Figure it out and don't let nobody take your peace away. Please. It's okay. Mental health is real. It's okay for someone to know, hey, you know what? Guess what? My psych is right there on my phone. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm going to call somebody that's in my group. I'm going to call somebody to talk to. 
It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if you're paying that person or if it's a group. Just, it's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Look at the world we're living in. It's better than alcohol. It's better than drugs. It's better than anything. Get the help you deserve. I would rather for me to know what the hell is wrong with me before somebody tell me, hey, woman, you crazy. You need help. I'll get up my damn self to go get the help that I need before my kids or my man or my best friend or anyone for the for that matter to tell me, hey, you sound crazy. You need help. Let me go get you help. And the next thing you know, you in a goddamn room by your damn self because you done let too much time pass that there was no nothing else it could do. You know something wrong. Guess what? Don't fight it. Be proud. Own it. Talk to someone. You can't afford to sit with somebody on somebody's couch for $300 an hour or whatever it is. Find a community. There's a lot of groups. Now I understand us as black people in our black community. There's a lot of us who doesn't believe in mental health. We don't believe that we need help. We believe that, hey, we are strong people. Yes, we are strong. We're not saying we're not strong, especially with everything we've been through. We are the strongest people in the in the world, probably. But that doesn't mean our mind don't need, you know, like a timeout. It's okay to have a timeout. So go ahead, take that timeout, talk to someone. You'll be just fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that because trust me, I've done it. We all need it. I will let you guys with this. I will talk to you guys more often because um, now when I do record, I'm going to record. Um, well, that will be starting this weekend. When I do re record, I'm going to record multiple videos. It's just they're going to they won't be coming um, every day. They will be coming um, every week. So I'll be recording every weekend. I'll be recording mo multiple videos. So when I am sick and too busy that you know, our conversation could still keep going. So, with that being said, like I told you guys, I will soon be having my oldest daughter that I um, adopted. She will be joining me very soon after all her immigration papers are correct. Um, she'll be joining me. She loves cooking, so she will be the co doing the cooking part with me. And my daughter, Sydney, who is my second child that um, that I birthed, she, um, she is my first child that I birthed. I will be actually doing the baking part with her, and she loves baking and stuff like that. And my sweetheart right here, she wants to have her own channel, so she will be here practicing on mine, saying, letting you guys know what's going on in the channel every time yes. we're leaving on every video. It's your time, Spencer. Bye. And click that like button down below and subscribe. Don't forget. Watch all our channels. Thank you. Bye. See Bye. you guys next time. Bye.